What is happening, YouTube? This is Trey Aces, man, and I'm here with a tutorial, my very first, you know, screen recording tutorial. Um, so I'm saying that and putting that on the table now because I don't want y'all now to judge me because um, I personally feel like I'm, I suck ass at explaining stuff, but I'm going to give it a shot and let you guys know how I personally do my recordings and get my vocals to, I guess you could say near studio quality. A lot of people are like, no, this is nowhere near close. So people are going to be like, yeah, this actually sounds like you're in a studio. I've gotten people like, hey, um, can I actually like visit your studio? I'm like, no, all I have is a mic and a laptop. So I'm going to show you guys how I get this damn near studio quality that I have now. Now, what the software I use is Mixcraft, which is 75 bucks. I got it for free because I got the hookups, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't do I don't do my editing or mixing that much in this software. I actually record my vocals. Actually, I clear them in this software and then move them to Fruity Loop Studios and do my mixing and chopping and all that fun stuff there. Um, but this is what I wanted to show you guys today, and, and this is the plugins that I use to make my vocals sound as clear as they do on a song that you guys have probably heard. Um, this is a song that I'm showing you right here is the project that I'm currently working on almost done with it I will drop it so you guys are getting like a little sneak peek of it right now um, okay so right now I'm gonna show you my vocals without the plugins and just to you know show you guys how dry and how lifeless this fucking sounds two up y'all can't even get it huh tell me who get it popping out here in Dago if it's someone else, why the fuck are they trying to lay low? Got them on the street and they do whatever I say so. This is what you get when you ain't fucking like some trade out. On a higher level, nigga, where I sit, a lot of pussy niggas. Alright, so you've heard the vocals. Um, they, they sound really like lifeless. They sound like they're they're behind a wall. Like like they're muzzled up. It's, it sounds somewhat clear. I have a blue Yeti stereo microphone, so it kind of helps out with the clarity. And I have a pop filter on it as well. So that kind of helps it out somewhat not to sound just like you're just, you know, throwing a vocal on there and calling the song. Um, that's without the plugins. And the, I'll show you guys the plugins right here. I suck at explaining it. So what I use a classic compressor, I put it on the vocal setting um, just to give it that up, bring that vocal presence. Um, EZQ equalizer is probably the most important thing on here. Now this is Mixcraft 6. I know 7 has came out, but I'm sticking with Mixcraft. And I'm pretty sure that they still have the same presets and plugins on Mixcraft 7 as well. Now the EZQ equalizer is the most important plugin on here to make your vocals clear. Because it pretty much takes away that wall and muzzled sound that you hear a lot in your music. Now just tweaking this, you know, a little here up and down, left and right, and just finding where your vocals sound the clearest with this is gonna help you find, you know, that studio quality you're somewhat looking for. Or just making it sound a lot better than the sound quality that you have now with your music. Now I have it right here. It makes my vocal sound good. It sounds clean. It sounds nice. But even though you know this really does, you know, give it a good kickstart to the sound quality. There's still other stuff you have to have as well. With that is a classic compressor. Now, not fully being 100 on what it does, but for my vocals, it actually takes away that distortion and that static if the vocals are too loud and there's too much going on at one time. So I have the classic compressor mixed down, and then I have the acoustic compressor. So if I do have a song that has a lot of stuff going on, a lot of bass, a lot of treble, hi-hats going crazy, this makes sure that my vocal presence is still ahead of that stuff at the same time, not overdoing my vocals to sound too crazy. Now the classic master limiter, I that's pretty much just, you know, it's a, it's a second aid to the mastering section of my vocals. It pretty much clears whatever little things up here and there. It makes it sound really good and, you know, broad. Now, I have turned off his acoustic and reverb you see at the top and a classic delay you see at the bottom. Now, depending on the song or the beat or, you know, sound that you want, you have those on and off, you know, in different settings and formats to make it sound better on the song if you want a certain, like, ambience to it or... It just sounds better when you want to make a song more alive and, you know, out there. So that's, this is my preset and this is what it sounds like when you have it on there. Ain't nobody fucking with you. Simple. 
And whoever you fucking with better watch who you running into. I'm too up. Y'all can't even get it. Huh, tell me who get it poppin' out here in Dago. Never saw one else, why the fuck are they tryna lay low? Got them on the string and they do whatever I say so. This is what you get when you ain't fuck with nice and trade out. On a higher level, nigga, where y'all sit? A lot of pussy nigga. Now, as this is the rough version. Like I said, I always take my vocals and I move it to FL Studios. And I edit it and mess with it there. Now, we can go there right now and I can show you guys what it sounds like after I done tweaked it and messed with it and edited it. In. Let me just knock this out. That's something else I was working on. <clears throat> My laptop shit, by the way. All right, this is what I've had on this so far. This is not the mix down. I'll show you the mix down one as well. Fucking with you, simple. And whoever you fucking with better, watch who you running into. Too up, y'all can't even get it. Huh, tell me who get it popping out here in Dago. Never saw one else. Why the fuck are they trying to lay low? Got them on the string and they do whatever I say. So, all right, so that's what it sounds. I actually have like a delay and a reverb on there to give it a more live sound, or really like a like a better sound with the song because it's kind of eerie and ambient, but it's tight with a bang on it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it sounds with that. And then I also have the mixed down version as well. If you guys want to hear that. scroll this down yeah I just have a bunch of songs and shit just mixed up everywhere we'll just skip to the part ain't nobody fucking with you simple and whoever you fucking with better watch who you running into I'm too up Y'all can't even get it. Huh, tell me who get it popping out here in Dago. Never saw one else. Why the fuck are they trying to lay low? Got them on the string and they do whatever I say. So this is what you get when you ain't fuck with nice and trade out. All right, so that's how it sounds. That's the mixed down version, the song that I'm probably going to drop soon enough. You guys just got a little sneak peek of it. Um, I realized that Mixcraft 7 had just dropped. And I'm pretty sure they should still have the same presets and plugins as they do on Mixcraft 6. I'm going to stay with Mixcraft 6 for the moment. Um, this is perfect for people who are on a tight budget. This is just really, you know, cheap stuff. You can get, like, the top, top is quality, top is, the best quality with, with a small budget. And it works really well. I use it all the time. It's gotten to me to where I am now. Just a mic, a laptop, and some solid earphones. Um, I probably have the shit I just said, um, scientifically about music and sound is probably off, off the wall, but, um, it works for me and I hope this can help you guys out. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comment section below. Um, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Trey underscore aces or ask me anything. Follow my Snapchat, uh, she love Trey aces for any, uh, beat snippets and questions because I respond very quickly on snapchat as well So that's why I put it in my description follow me on Instagram for beats and stuff like that any questions Just let me know what's up guys and thank you for watching all this help you guys and don't forget to subscribe know what I'm saying All right trace is out